As you do these problems, you might want to have a calculator handy and then, of course, maybe write this down and draw out the picture if, uh, if you're following along with me, okay? So, let's see what this is. It says ABCD, that's this figure over here, is a parallelogram. So, if it tells us that in the directions, whatever shape it is, we can use all the properties of that shape to our advantage, okay? And then it'll probably give you some different measures. For example, here it says ADC is 134. You got to write that into your picture, okay? So, that's A. D, C. So A, D, C is this entire angle up here. Since this has two smaller angles, I like to put the whole thing kind of on the outside. And so I'm going to put 134 degrees on the outside like that. What else does it tell me? It says B, A, C is 22. B, A, C. So this one is just going to be this kind of lower angle. It says 22 degrees. And then lastly, CBD, CBD is this angle, and that's 52 degrees, our direction says. All right, 52 degrees. Now, again, like I said, we can use the properties of a parallelogram to help us out here. And I know that in a parallelogram, I'm just going to try to mark up some stuff first before I do all my, my angles. I know that the opposite angles are the same. So if this is 134, so is this, 134. Similarly, if this is 22 degrees, then it, that is an alternate interior angle with this one, all right? 22 degrees. In fact, if you forgot what alternate interior angles are, I'll put a video up here for you, but um, you can just trust me on that one. Same thing on this one, 52. That's opposite on the other side is going to be 52 over there. And then, since the whole thing is 30, 134, and this is 52, again, you might need that calculator handy, go 134 minus 52 to see what that other side is. And this happens to be 82 degrees, and this would be 82 degrees, okay? So I think that's a good start. That's just kind of putting what's, uh, what our information that was given to us into our diagram. And now we're going to try to find some of these different missing values, okay? So first off, it wants us to find B, C, D. So I follow that around, B, C, D, well that's this entire angle. And to figure out this one, you have to remember that consecutive angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. They add up to be 180 degrees. So again, I'm going to take my 134, subtract that from 180, and that gives me 46, all right, 46 degrees. As I do it, I also want to put it into my picture, okay, because we might use that again later. All right, what else do I need to find? BDC. BDC is this angle. Well, hey, I already found it. That's 82 degrees. Okay, nice. No work required for that one. BMC. B, oops, I think the middle must be M, probably for midpoint. BMC is my middle one here. And mm, to find that, that one could be a little tricky. Let's see, I think I'm gonna to have to know some of these other middle angles first, all right? Now, one thing when you do rectangles, rhombuses, squares, parallelograms, whatever, is you'll notice that they're kind of broken into these four triangles, right? And if you can have, if you can find two angles in a triangle, you can definitely find the third angle. All angles in a triangle add up to be 180 degrees. So here, if I take 82 plus 22 and subtract that from 180, that'll give me this measure. And then I think I have a linear pair with this angle M down below. So let's try that. Let's take 82 plus 22. That's 104. If I subtract that from 180 uh, minus my answer there, that is 76 degrees. All right, 76. So if this is 76, this is 104. That's just that math backwards. And then these are vertical angles, 104, 104, and this is 76 and 76 degrees. Okay, so what do we need? BMC, BMC is 104 degrees. All right, next one, A, B, D, A, B, D. Again, 82, I already have that one, All right? 82 degrees. And the next one is A, C, D. Let's see, A, C, D. So again, follow it around. That's this angle, which we said was 22 earlier. 22 degrees. Then last one is C, M, D. Where is that? C, M, D. Well, because of the math that I just did to find the middles, I know that's going to be 76 degrees. All right, 76 degrees. Now, there's a couple others that I could have figured out if I needed to. For example, the whole thing down here is 46. If this is 22, then this angle would be 24, right? That'd be 24, and so would this one. But it didn't ask that one, so I don't necessarily need to find it. But this is how you'd find some of these missing measurements in a parallelogram. 
Right, our next shape is a rhombus, okay? And so we are given that this is 116, AB is 10, and then also it says BD, so BD, this line right here, it says is 12. And I didn't write this one in yet because I'm gonna say this is six and six, right? Uh, rhombus is a parallelogram, and so we know that the diagonals bisect each other, so I can say six and six, just like that. All right, so what we need to do is find some of these other missing parts down here in green. Um, and let's just start out with this first one and see if we need to add anything to our picture based off of the information they gave us. So first off, the measure of angle BCD. All right, BCD, yeah, I think right away we're gonna have to maybe go to our calculator here, and we're gonna do 180, minus 116 because C and D, these two angles are supplementary. They add up to be 180. So minus 116 from 180, this gives us 64 degrees. All right, so 64 degrees for uh, the measure of angle BCD. And then our next one, it wants us to find the measure of angle DBA. DBA, so DBA is this angle right here. Now, in order to find that one, we have to remember that our opposite angles are going to be um, congruent, all right? So if this is 116, then all of measure, measure of angle B is also 116. And if I divide it by two, a rhombus has a special property that says these two angles are being bisected, or 116 is being bisected, and so those two are gonna be congruent. So what I would do for that is take 116 divided by two. I should have probably done that in my head. This is 58, and this is 58, all right? Likewise, these two up here are also 58 degrees, okay? So the one that wanted for us, DBA, DBA is this one, that was also 58 degrees. Okay, next it says AD, all right? So AD, well again, this is a rhombus, so all the sides in a rhombus are going to be congruent. I can put little tick marks on there to show that. And since this is 10, the other side would also have to be 10. Next one says CAD, C. A, D. Well, that's this angle over here. And kind of like we found with the 58s dividing 116 by two, I'm gonna take 64 and divide it by two. And of course that is 32 for both of these angles, as well as both of the opposite ones, 32 and 32 degrees. And so C, A, D is 32 degrees. All right, just a couple left here, B, M, C. Uh, B, M, C, well, this is one of my middle angles. And again, a rhombus has a special property that says all of the diagonals um, kind of cut through perpendicularly, all right? So these are all 90 degrees here in the middle. You can put boxes to show that. You can use the 90 degree symbol either way. All right, and then the last one, M, B. Well, let's see, M, B, I think we already found, we said that was six when we took the 12 and split it, all right? So this is, oops, not 12, it is six, M, B. So six, just like that. All right, the next figure is a rectangle. And in this one, it says that A, B, D is 58. So I filled that in for us, A, B, D is this angle. And it also tells us that A, C is 20. So kind of similar to the last one, this is A and C. I know that these are being bisected, in fact, in a rectangle, all of those are the same. So if this is 20, then half of it is 10 and 10. Since these are also the same, I can just put 10 and 10 right there as well. All right, another property of a rectangle that I know is gonna come into play is that these are all right angles. Okay, in fact, right away, before I even look at my problems down here, the ones I need to find, I know that if I take 90 minus 58, I can get this angle. So let's just do that, get it done with 90 minus 58 is 32 degrees, okay? 32 degrees. Then I have alternate interior angle, so I can kind of flip-flop those over here, where this is now gonna be 32 degrees and this is gonna be 58 degrees. And then also I have a ton of right, or a ton of not right, ton of isosceles triangles, okay? This and this are the same. So if this is 32 down here, this angle, on this bottom triangle, this also has to be 32 degrees. And similarly, this is 32 up here for the same reason. And then if this is 58, this kind of side, the left triangle, is also gonna be isosceles. So down here, this is also 58. And same thing up here, this is also 58 degrees. So I haven't even done any of the problems yet, but I know that I'll probably use some of those facts. All right, let's try one. Here it says BCD equals what? Angle B, C, D, well, that's 90, right? We filled that in. Now, don't get confused. It's not 32, it's not 58. B, 
CD, if I kind of look at the whole thing, that's what it's talking about. It's talking about the 90 degrees, okay? Um, the next one, BDC, flip-flopped, BDC. Now this time, if I were to follow this around, it kind of makes that V shape, and in the middle of that V is this 58. That 32 is not included in this one, so this is just 58 degrees. CAD, CAD, same thing, except it's the top one now. This is 32 degrees. And BMC, BMC. Now I don't know any of my middle angles yet, but if you remember from our last one, uh, we are able to find those by thinking of these as individual triangles, okay? So I know there's 180 degrees total, and if this is 32 and this is 32, I can find that last angle by doing 180 minus 32 plus 32, which is 64. So if I do 180 minus 64, that is 116, okay? So 116 right here, and then also 116 up here. And then that math backwards, 180 minus 116, gives me the 64 for the two sides. And I know that because these are a linear pair right along this line. Those add up to be uh, 180 degrees, okay? So this was what? BMC, BMC we said is 116 degrees. Next one, CBD, CBD. D, well, this is 32 in that middle one there. See, it's kind of nice when you fill everything in to begin with, right? You get a ton of answers real fast. ACD, ACD is this one, which is 58. BDA, BDA is 32 degrees. CMD, CMD is 64. That's one that we found earlier, okay? If you didn't... Uh, remember how I found that again by after I found the 116 I did 180 minus 116 to give me 64 since this is a linear pair the 64 and the 116 All right, then I have two that are not angles. These are side lengths and let's see it wants BD. Well uh, BD if I remember that AC was 20 AC is 20 and these are all the same then BD is also going to be 20 All right, and then lastly CM well, that's half of this we said earlier that was this 10, okay? So I know the rectangle looks a little crowded when you're done, but you can find every missing side length and missing angle um, in a rectangle, just a few of those given measurements to start with. All right, last one, it says ABCD is a square in this case. And again, I'm not the best drawer, but uh, trust me, it's a square, okay? And then the only thing we're given for this one, because squares have lots of properties, is that AC is 12 square roots of two. Okay, so AC, if that's 12 square roots of two, then I know each of these are gonna be congruent, so I can say each one would be half or six square roots of two. Okay, six square roots of two, six square roots of two. And similarly, these are also gonna be six square roots of two. So while I'm at it, I might as well put those on there too, okay? All right, and then one other thing that I know from this is if I were to extract kind of this triangle right here, okay? And let me just do that. I'll think about it kind of like this. This, since we know in a square, all of the angles are 90, all right? And they're cut in half, which makes these all 45s along the edges there. This is now a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And if the whole thing was 12 square roots of two for our hypotenuse of that right triangle, then we know from our special right triangles video, remember that, if you don't, click that video up there, that this is gonna be 12 and 12, okay? So that means all the sides, if this is 12 and 12, again, this was just kind of a snip sh uh, snapshot, snapshot, snapshot of this triangle. Well, the other part would also still be there, and since in a square, all the sides are the same, these would also be 12s like that. All right, so that's not what the question's asking. It's asking for these. So let's see if that might help us, though, find some of these, starting with the measure of angle B, C, D, okay? B, C, D down here, of course, is 90 degrees. That is a right angle. All squares have 90 degrees in every corner. What about C, A, D? C, A, D. Well, this, we said, each one's, if it's cut in half, those are going to be 45s in our corner like that, or in each of the smaller corners. Okay, A, B, D. Where is A? A, B, D. Again, this is another 45 degree angle. Just like this. And then B, M, C. 
B, M, C. We haven't said anything about our middle ones, but if you remember, a square is also always a rhombus. And rom rhombi have uh, right angles in the middle. That's one of their special properties. So you can put those little boxes there in the middle. And so since this asks for B, M, C, um, this is also going to be 90 degrees. All right, and then two other lengths that it wants us to find. It wants us to find A, D, and B, M, or M, B. Um, a, D, A, D, we found already is 12. All right, that's good. And then M, B, where is that? This we said was six square roots of two when we split the 12 square roots of two along our diagonal. Hey guys, hopefully you found this video helpful about rectangles, rhombuses, squares, and parallelograms and finding all their missing sides and angles and other measures. If you did find this helpful, please help me out by liking down below and subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed, all right? And then I know some of you have some tests or quizzes coming up about these things. If you do, you will definitely find this video helpful as you continue to study for that test or quiz. See you in the next one.